hope everybody can hear me okay. I just wanted to take a minute and welcome you all. I'm Emily King. I'm the founder and CEO of Prospector. I'm excited to share this webinar with Jess Scanlon, who leads our new media at Prospector. Um, today, what we're going to focus on is how you can use your Prospector free trial. Uh, some of you on this call might have gotten an email in anticipation of Jess and I both being at Precious Metals Beaver Creek next week. Uh, you've got a, a free trial with, with that conference sponsorship. And and also, uh, you can go onto our website and sign up for a free trial, as Jess is going to show you at any time, um, even if you're not going to be able to join us at Beaver Creek. And we just want to make sure that everybody understands how to use it, right? So once you go and sign up for it, what do you do and how can you play around with it and set everything up? Uh, so I'm really excited to take any questions you all have today. While Jess does a, a demo and walks you through the platform, I'll be here. And as you send um, questions in through the chat or q and I'll be kind of teeing those up. So look forward to hearing what you think and staying in touch with you all as you get started. Jess, over to you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, as Emily said, my name is Jess Scanlon. I am the new media coordinator here at Prospector. I'm really excited to show you all our platform today. So can we see my screen okay? I just want to make sure. I'm seeing okay. it great. Awesome. Yeah. Perfect. So first, for those of you that maybe haven't started your free trial yet, I wanted to walk you through the process. I've dropped the link in the chat to our prospector page, but it's also just prospectorportal.com. So if you wanted to walk through with me, uh, you can definitely do that. So when you go to prospectorportal.com, this is the home page. You can see all of the different features and stuff on here, as well as our blog and our podcast. It's really easy to start your free trial. All you do is go to this upper right-hand corner here and click login or start free trial. My computer's frozen. I'm sorry, we have a thunderstorm going on today, so uh, my internet's a little slow here. There we go. <laughs> Log in or start free trial, and that's going to take you into our web app and give you a sneak peek of what Prospector is all about. For those of you that maybe have been on Prospector before, you might notice our new look with the globe. I don't know about you all, but I'm very excited about this look. I think it's a lot of fun. So what you're going to do is go ahead and click this upper right hand corner again for the login or free trial. And it's really easy to sign up. So you can log in if you already have an account. This is how you get there. But it's also easy to sign up. You just click this sign up tab here. You can sign up with Apple, Google, even LinkedIn, or you can enter an email and password here. I'm going to go ahead and log in because I already have an account. And that's going to take you back into your account on the web app. And again, this is how it looks. So it's really easy to sign up, uh, really easy to start your trial. It's a two week trial. And now let's see. So yeah, really easy. Uh, if you have any questions, we're more than happy to help you with that. I'll also drop a link here if you do get a little lost. Uh, we also just have a quick free trial link here. So I just sent that in the chat. So if you are having trouble for some reason logging in with Google or anything, you can click that. It's really easy to sign up. So now into the platform itself. Prospector is data mining the mining data. And so we have compiled over 10,000 projects and 2,500 mining companies around the world in one easy to use interactive database. And when I say interactive, you can see it's really easy here to browse around and check out projects. All of these prospector icons here are projects. So, and then each one is clickable. You can also search projects. So you can type in something here if you have a particular project in mind. And just a heads up, any projects or companies or anything that I'm showing today, they're not recommendations, they're not anything, it's just ones that I'm using for a demonstration. We take publicly compiled information or publicly listed information from the TSX, ASX, and TSXV. So if your company has publicly listed data on those stock exchanges, we probably have it here in Prospector. And so, yeah, we can search a project, we can browse around on the map. It's really easy and super interactive. We also have the ability to search companies, again, with the search bar here. We also have advanced filters. 
So if you're looking for a particular project to fit your criteria, let's just go ahead and say you're interested in Canadian gold, so Canada. You can type it in, or you can also scroll. So let's scroll down to G here for gold. And let's click all. So this is the last update on the project. We're gonna see all of them. You can see so far we have 2,223 projects listed for Canadian gold. I'm gonna go ahead and choose production and construction. With Prospector, anything above this PEA stage is actually going to show a life of mine plan, which is important in your analyst free trial. So I'll go ahead and get into that in a few minutes. However, anything below PEA, won't have any life of mine plans. And so you won't be able to use our NPV calculator, which I'll show you here in a few minutes. So that's just something to note. If you're looking at a project and it doesn't have the NPV calculator that I'll show you, that's just because it is below the PEA stage. So again, for looking for Canadian gold product projects that are in production or construction, we use this advanced filter and it shows us the map or the globe view of all of these projects. Again, each of these prospector icons is a different project and they're all clickable and interactive. They show you a little bit of information. The ones that have the numbers on them, if you click, it's gonna zoom in and show you the different projects there. So that's just what the different numbers mean. All right. So one really cool thing about prospector is we can look here and we can actually add all of these projects to a list. So we can select them all with this little check mark here. We can add to a list. Again, so I'm going to click, I already have one cre created here for Canadian Gold Projects. I'm going to add them to that list and save changes. And I'll show you how to get the, to those lists here in a short minute. We can also add tags. So I know I want to add tags Gold, Canada. And again, for you Beaver Creek attendees, uh, if there's a project or a company that you want to discuss that's at Beaver Creek, you can actually add a tag here that says Beaver Creek. You can see I don't have one of those tags created. So I just click this to create it and save. Awesome. You can also export this list to a CSV. There we go. My Excel is out of date, so it's gonna give me an error here. You won't get that, it's just a heads up. <laughs> all right, and so you can see that we have all of these projects here uh, listed in a CSV format for you to take and print. And so it's really easy to take with you. All righty. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to scroll down and choose a project from the list. I'm going to use Detour Lake as just an example. Again, there's no recommendations or anything with this. And this is a project page on Prospector. So again, Prospector has projects as well as companies. And this is what the project page looks like. This is all publicly disclosed information that we are pulling here. So it gives you a short summary, uh, as well as the little details here on the right hand side. Has a little bar of what the mineral resources and reserves are, as well as the primary metal. Scrolling down, we can see approximately where the project is located. Now this is really handy, one of my favorite parts is this map here is interactive. So you can scroll in and see maybe what towns are nearby, check out infrastructure, see how close the road is, and that's really handy. You can also scroll out and just see it's a general location. If you, you know, aren't familiar with the area, you can see it's in Eastern Canada here. This bar over here is the ownership bar. Now, looks pretty, pretty big right now. This is 100% owned by Agnico Eagle. However, if this was a joint venture, we would see different splits of bars with the different percentages there. And again, here's the project owner with a little blurb about the project owner, and we'll get more into that shortly. Scrolling down even further, we put the technical report right in front of you. I don't know how many of you are familiar with CDAR, but it's not the most interactive for searching for technical reports. We've taken that technical report, brought it right in, and it's really easy to find. And so we go right into, I've already got it preloaded here, just in case my internet's slow. <laughs> um, but yes, we pull this technical report in. And so you can browse all 406 pages if you'd like. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that, but we've also made it easy to search by section. For example, I am a geologist, so I might search into the geological setting section here. And that takes you right to that section. You can also use this little magnifying glass or control F to keyword search. So if you search 
I don't know, say reserved and enter. It'll bring up probably a lot, 151 <laughs> uh, matches here. So it's a lot, um, but that makes it really easy to browse the PDF as well right here. We've also taken the time here at Prospector to pull out document tables. And these are interactive as well. Again, everything's super interactive and easy. So if you table, see a table that you wanna look more at, you click it. Let's click this one, it's the top one here. And it's going to take you right to that table, which is really handy. It makes things a lot faster. We have also done the same for the figure, figures in the report. So again, we click it and it takes you right to that figure in the report. So again, really interactive, really easy to use. As I said, anything in the PEA stage or above is going to have a life of mine. And I'll come back to that in just a second because that's gonna be really important for the NPV calculator. But we're gonna continue scrolling and showing you the page here shortly. So this is also resources and reserves for the project. And I say project with an emphasis because when we go to the company page, we have the resources and reserves for all of the company's projects. So we've taken the time to pull those out for you. It's really easy. We can see that this one has 15 million ounces of gold, proven and probable reserve. We've also taken the time to chart this project against the project's peers. So these plots here are the different comparison against the project's peers, so different gold projects. These yellow dots you can see are the project that we're looking at, and then all the blue dots are the different projects that are in the same group. If we hover over them, it's gonna tell you what project is and then what the different resources and reserves are. And again, so yellow we, hear, we have here, this is measured and indicated. It's gonna tell you which ones those are and then proven and probable over here. In regards to resources and reserves, these are logarithmic charts that show you again, comparison to the different res uh, resources and reserves of similar projects. And again, if you hover those, it's gonna tell you more, a little bit more about the comparable projects. Down here is one of my favorite charts. This shows you how the resources and reserves have grown over time. So you can see here that the year, how many reserves and resources there are, and they just show you right there. So you don't have to go through and hand calculate it or draw your own graphs in Excel, which is really handy. We've done the same for our production with similar charts, production costs, quarterly production, and quarterly production costs. So and this is all included in your analyst free trial. You get access to all of that. So back up to the life of mine at NPV calculator. NPV is net present value, and it is just a way of comparing project. So basically anything over zero dollars is an okay project. Basically, I said, <laughs> you can get really into this. So for those of you that are familiar with life of mine calculations, it can sometimes take a long time if you want good results. So what we've done is we've pulled the life of mine plan out from the technical report, and we've put it into this interactive sheet here. It has a little dial here. It tells you that you can see at just the zero, the straight case, the base case, it's a 1.3 billion US dollar NPV. And that's the base case that we've pulled from the report. By clicking this button here, we can see an actual waterfall chart of the different costs and profits. And so you can see here, taxes, net profit, et cetera, and the final NPV. By hovering over these for just a quick second, it's going to show you some notes and make it easier to read. The best thing about our NPV calculator is it's actually adjustable, which is really cool. So say, let's see, their base, base case price of gold is 1717.9. So say we're a little unsure of that gold price, we want to drop it down to 1200 US dollars. There we go. So that drops our NPV down. And if we hover over this blue arrow, we can see that drops our NPV down 51% to 617.4 million. Again, by clicking that waterfall chart, that allows us to see the different taxes and how that gold price will affect the NPV on the, all these different matters here. So that's really cool. You can adjust all of these. You can take your royalties up to 6%, tax rate up to 50. All of these are adjustable and it's actually really cool just to see the difference it makes. The best part about this is you can print it and take it with you. 
There we go. Downloads is a PDF. So you can take it with you easily. You can also save this. Let's just say this name as high taxes. There we go. And that saves our NPV to the same place that saves that it saves our list to. And I will show you that in just a moment here. So that's the NPV calculator, as well as the rest of the analyst with the resources and reserves. That is all only available in analyst. So that's really important. As you can see on the left-hand side here, uh, I'm already following this project, but you can follow and add to list. So again, Canadian Gold Projects, let's just say mine design now, save changes. And that's going to add it to those lists. You can also add notes. So let's just say Beaver Creek. And again, we can add notes and tags here. Save. So where are all of these notes, tags, and saved NPVs going? They're really easy to find right up here in the My Prospector tab. Just takes a second here. There we go. Oh, I don't have any prospects for companies. I haven't done that part yet. The projects here. There we go. Again, I'm sorry we're having a thunderstorm here, so my internet's a little bit slow. So in the My Prospector tab, you can see here all of our saved projects. We also have our lists here. So this is the Canadian Gold, Pro Gold Projects list that I have that I showed you earlier when I selected all of them. And I've also saved the Detour Lake project here. We also have our saved NPVs. If you wanted to bring them back quickly, we can view that right here. So it's all really easy to find here in the My Prospector tab. Now going back, we have two ways to look at companies. Actually, we have three ways to look at companies. So you can either search for a company here, uh, at Nico Eagle. We can click that there. We can also go into the Companies tab here. And we can do the same thing with the Companies tab. We can do the advanced filters based on the exchanges, the minerals, the tech reports, all that stuff, all the regions. So that's really handy to find that there. But you can also go into the project that you were in. So let's go back to Detour Lake. Detour Lake, there we go. And we can actually click this here. So it's really easy to go from a project to a company. So if you see a project you like and you're like, I really want to learn more about this company, you don't have to search it, although you can. You can just click right here and it's going to take you directly into that company. All right, Oop, there we go. So the company's page looks similar to the project page, instead of, but instead of it's a company, not a project. And again, all of this is all publicly disclosed data. So we all have all of those publicly disclosed companies here. So we have a little blurb about the company. We have the different stock information, as well as another map. Now you'll see this map looks different from the project page as it shows all of the different companies' projects. And these again are all interactive and clickable, which is really handy. So if you see a project here in Quebec that you're interested in looking at, you can click it and it's gonna show you. And again, you can click this and go into that project. So it all links together and it's all really easy to navigate. Scrolling down a little bit further, we also have a list of the projects. This isn't all of them, we can click view all projects, but there's like 60 of them and I don't want to scroll forever. So just a heads up that that's there. And uh, we scroll down and then this is where it starts getting a little bit different from the project page. We have the stock performance as well as the recent news. Scrolling down, we have resources and reserves for all of the projects here that the company owns. And again, there's a lot here. So you can see that the company in total has 32.2 million ounces of gold in their resources and reserves. Just scroll through the different metals. You just click these buttons here. It's gonna tell you all of the different metals and what project that they're in. Again, we do the same for production with annually and annual and quarter production. And then down here at the very bottom, this section is actually included in our research, but it's also included in analyst as well, is the board members and executives. This is really handy to see who's on the board and also what they've been doing. So by clicking on the view more tab here, we can see where this CEO has worked, uh, what his pedigree is. Um, he has an MBA as his highest degree. So that's really good to see where those board members have worked and we've done that for all of them, which is really handy. 
Again, same as the projects page, we can follow and add notes. So you can see I've added this to the gold companies list. Again, if we want to create a list, it's really easy. We go to Beaver Creek, type that in, create list, and then it's going to create that list. And that's really slow, so changes. And then edit notes here. So we can just say gold company. Maybe if I could spell. There we go. And again, all of those lists and notes all go into the My Prospector tab. So it's really easy to find. Now, Prospector is great here on the web. There we go. My Prospector. Again, back into our lists here. You can see our Beaver Creek right here. So Prospector is really great on the web, but you can also take it with you on the go. So we have a free mobile app that is available in the Apple App Store and Google Play. So I'm going to add those links in the chat here. There we go. So both of those should be added. Free to download and all you do is you sign up with your My Prospector account. And if you sign up for a Prospector free trial and add all of this to your free trial and want to continue on with a paid version, then that, all of that stuff will still transfer over. You won't lose any of those notes or anything. So I'm going to quickly transfer over to that. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know while I'm transferring. And please also let us know if there's anything else you wanna see. Yeah, absolutely. Happy to show anything. Again, any publicly disclosed data here. All right, there we go. Can we see the screen okay? Yep. I'm awesome. seeing your screen, Mary. Perfect. All right. So the Prospector app, again, is really easy to take with you on the go. Have the mining industry at your fingertips. So we're just going to click it here. And again, it's available in Google and Apple. So whatever your phone is, you probably have it. And again, we make it easy to search for projects. We do have the advanced filter here available on our phone. You can also search for projects and companies. So say we're at a conference or we're on the go. I don't know about you all, but I talk to my parents about mining a lot. And I'm like, oh, let me just look up this company here. It's great while you're, you know, at the bar with friends. <laughs> just kidding. But it's really fun and easy. So you just type it in. So we're just going to go to Detour Lake again. You never know when you're going to have a trivia game at the bar. Just right, like, right. Mining, mining trivia. <laughs> this makes it really easy. It's all, I mean, you know. I, would, I never condone cheating, but makes it really easy to find the answers. <laughs> all right. So again, this pulls up all of that information here and makes it really easy to find. So, and then we also, like I said, if you would search something and add it to a list on your web app, it does transfer to your phone. You go to my prospector here. And you can see I have all of my prospects and my lists here. So it's really easy to find, really easy to bring back up. Again, if you're going to Beaver Creek, we just pull that up and we can check out the company right there. Any questions that we have, you know, we can add notes, just edit that note here. We can add any questions, add their answers. It's all done here on your phone. You don't have to print anything out and it's really easy to navigate. So, and that is the mobile app there. Let me stop sharing again. That's just a quick overview, but I'm going to pause for any questions here. If there's anything you'd like to see for a particular use case or anything, more than happy to demonstrate that. I've got a question, Jess, from Celan on how long is the trial active for, the free trial? Let's see, for our analyst one, are we doing a month or two weeks? Yeah, we're doing a month right now. So yeah. We're out our new analyst product, so 30 days. Yeah, no, that's super exciting. That's a really long, really long trial and really exciting. Get to really dig in for that, for sure. Let's see. Any other features in the full version or the trial covers all? The trial covers everything. It is a full version of Prospector Analyst. So everything that I've shown today, you will get in your free trial and get to be hands-on and cover yourself. We also have uh, up, upgraded company pages as well. Uh, if you are here representing a company, and I can actually just demonstrate that really quick, just kind of show the difference. Let me share my screen again. So if you're here representing a company and you want just a little bit extra on your company page, uh, we do have these upgraded company pages. They have these social links 
all right there, which is really handy for me as a new media coordinator, personally, makes it really easy to find that social media and takes you directly to that social media. We it's also have their relations team also. Yes, yes. Great for investor relations. And we also have the corporate presentations, reports, and we can also inter uh, link with Verify there. So a lot of people are doing these virtual tours, and we are able to put that right in our platform as well. So this is the upgraded company page, uh, and it's, again, really great for investor relations. If you're here for a, uh, representing a company and just want that little extra piece on your company page, don't hesitate to let us know. And then we got a, a question from Celan. Um, is there a summary section on the technical details of the project, such as you know geology, uh, open pit, or processing details? Yeah, so all of that, again, can just be found really easy here in the technical report. So let's just say, what was one of the examples here? The processing methods. So yeah. let's just go to, oh man, what is that under here? recovery methods. There we mm -hmm. go. So again, that's all just really easy to find here. Uh, right in the technical report, it takes you right to it. You can also just go to the summary of the technical report. And oftentimes a lot of that information is summarized here at the very beginning. And there is a project summary on the project page also, yep. right? That, that does summarize some of that. Ceiling. Yeah. Some of it, and it does change from project to project. Um, so if there's more information about, you know, in the technical report, we'll pull that in. But you can see, let's see, this is a planned open pit operation at the West D2 or North Pits, uh, mineral reserves, all that stuff is all in that project summary right here at the page. And then we got a uh, another question from Tom. Seems to me this is a great tool for investing. I'm a contract mining company owner. What's a good use of Prospector for me? Um, and I would give you two use cases, Tom. One would be for business development. If you wanna look for projects that are advancing to the stage where it might be uh, worthwhile for you to pick up the phone and give them a call once they've hit a certain benchmark. Um, and then also if, if in what you're actually doing in your contracted mining activity, if you want to be able to look at comparable projects, um, approaches, um, you can use it in that way to do a comparable assessment. What kind of ideas would you have, Jess? Yeah, so I, I, I focus a lot on the business development side. Uh, I know I've talked to a lot of people that are in the drilling stages, you know, the contract drillers and such. So we can look at the target drilling or discovery delineation stage and see what projects might need those, or even the grassroots state, stage if you want to get in at the very beginning. We can see what projects. So let's see. I'm in the US here. So I can see that there's a bunch of grassroots projects here. Again, we can narrow it down even further. If you are a grassroots gold driller, you want to focus on gold, we can see over 2,000 projects here. It, well, 2,000 projects worldwide. We can narrow it down to the United States. Let me add that filter here. There we go. So in the United States alone, if you're a grassroots contract driller, 267 projects. So I, that's the stage I always focus on when it comes to business uh, development. Um, it's really easy to find projects that you might be able to be useful for. Great and then question. you can also um, sign up, Tom, as if you do find projects that you want to stay aware of, you can add those to those follow lists that Jess described. Um, and you can do the save searches. So it'll the system will actually send you an email if a new project hits the platform that's a fit for your profile. So maybe you are out running operations and you know, you're not logging, although we would love for you to be on Prospector all day, every day. Um, if you can't log in every day to look for new stuff, you can set up that follow list and set up that safe search. So it'll actually email you when there's a new project that you should log in and check out because it's a fit for that profile. Absolutely, it's really handy. Great question. Uh, Emily, what kind of follow up do you have? Any um, follow up yeah. commentary? No, I just I dropped my email in there. Um, I know Jess 
put in Jess Almond's uh, demo link. So in that chat, you can you can click on that if you want to sign up for a more detailed demo or you've signed up for your trial and you want us to walk you through again or, or help you set up those save searches or follows, you could do that. And then just a reminder also in that chat group is the link, uh, or you can just go to prospectorportal.com and click on free trial and set that up. Um, and we do have lots of, of videos and helpful things to help you get started, uh, as well as the mobile app, both in Google Play and Apple app, Apple Store. Um, so yeah, just really excited to see you all get started and please reach out. Um, you know, if you just click that that little help button. Also, if you see any errors or have any problems, just let us know. Look yeah. forward. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, super excited. So again, if uh, if you all have any questions, I'll be hanging out for about the next five minutes. Happy to answer any of those. And if you're at Beaver Creek, make sure you stop by and see us. Yeah, absolutely. Look forward to seeing some of you in person. Awesome. Thank you all for attending and have a great rest of your day.